What's going on today, guys? Uh, I promised you a milling video when it was a nice, warm, beautiful day. And uh, today is a nice, warm, beautiful day, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, supposed to get colder tomorrow, so if this video goes into two days, I'll probably keep my sweatshirt on all day, but literally I've got uh, just a t-shirt and, and a thick shirt on and I'm perfectly comfortable. What I wanna do today is go ahead and make some boards for my fence. And I'm kind of making this up as I go. I, I've got a big cedar log. Uh, I want to start cutting into it. I've gone through about three logs this fall, kind of tweaking my, my milling the way I mill. Uh, and basically I just want to get some cans that are three and a half inches wide that I can then just start zipping off boards from. And the final uh, thickness of my boards is going to end up being, if I set my mill to one inch, uh, my boards, the, the kerf is three eighths. So I'll end up with five eighths of an inch boards. And basically the board you're seeing over here, this board, uh, this is one that I bought at the, um, at the fencing place. And I don't remember it, but I think it was either three or $4 uh, per board. And then this is one I did last week when I was just messing around. And uh, you know, it looks just as good to me. I mean, my board is a little bit uh, more rough sawn. I think they did put this through a, a uh, planer or joint or whichever one to smooth it out, but um, it's a fence, so uh, this is fine. So our end result is hopefully going to be some six foot long boards, three and a half inches wide, that I can then butt together and, uh, and make some fencing out of. Whenever you're milling, you have to keep in mind which side of the tree is the top end of the tree, which is going to have the narrower diameter, and which end of the tree is the root end of the tree. You can only make your boards as big as the top of the tree because you can't, you can't start at the fatter end and keep cutting because you can't make tree. So I've got, this is, the, this is the narrower side of the tree, and I've noticed if I put my level across the beam here, my cut is going to be pretty much flush with the top of this level. So looking at the way things are now, I could go up a touch more, but my mill has only got um, maybe two more notches to go up. So we'll see if we can lift it a couple notches and then take a slice off to square off this beam. Yeah, it literally only had one more hole to go. So in that last shot, I really should have checked my height before I secured the log so I could move the log away from, you know, what it's leaning against on the big mill here. And I'll do that next time. I'll try to remember. The way I check the height of my cant is I just take a tape measure and I run it down the side of the mill here and I see what the height is. And right here, it's, it's 10 inches. So now I can just go to the other side and make sure the other one is 10 inches too. It's just a quick and dirty way to check the height so I don't end up with differing, differing heights. Now down at the root end, if I put my tape measure down, I'm getting, looks like a little bit less than 10 and a half. So I need to go, I need to move this piece down one, possibly two notches. So I'll pull it out and I'll count up one. Check it. And that looks good, that's 10 inches. 
And then I'll go ahead and tighten the knob to lock things in place. <laughs> 